I have been making content in the city builder genre for years now, and I can tell you honestly that it's not that often that I hear about an upcoming game release that I'm actually super, super excited about. The first time it happened was with Infinity Kingdom. I played that game a ton. I had a blast. The second time it happened was recently with Call of Dragons. But now we have a game that I have been waiting nine months for. That's right, nine months since I first found out about Grand Cross Age of Titans. I played the first beta. I was super impressed with the art style and the open field movement. So today I'm super excited that we actually have new information about Grand Cross Age of Titans. And when the creators of the game wanted to work with me again, I was super excited because I've been waiting so long for this game, bro. We haven't heard anything for such a long time. So we're going to take a look at some footage of open field fighting castle siege. I'm going to go over some details about the game. And of course, I want to thank Netmarble and Grand Cross Age of Titans for sponsoring this video. It is amazing to be sponsored by games that I am already looking forward to that I'm already excited about and that are already in the same genre of content that I'm making here on YouTube. So let's jump right into it. Okay. Now the first thing that I want to show you guys is that this is obviously a 2d animated style of open field fighting. And as you can see here, this is what appears to be the beginning of a castle siege. And there is absolutely open field movement in this game, which I'm super excited about. When I first played the first beta test, that was one of the things that stuck out at me because a lot of these new games don't have open field movement. And this one does. It was very smooth, very fluid. And I was super happy to see that because we really do need more games like this. And this looks amazing. Okay. I just want to pause here and point out a couple of details. Okay. First of all, it looks like we have a handful of what are called Titans in this game, which are significantly larger units compared to your regular troops another thing i noticed here is that these troops are actually in different formations okay you could see that up front we have what is a more of a triangular formation behind that we have what looks like a square formation down here is either also a square formation or this could be like a diamond formation as well and you'll notice that there's a bunch of different troop types here okay we obviously have cavalry infantry archers there's also combat engineers which are sort of like a siege unit you can see catapults off in the back here and all these armies appear to be led by heroes the art style as i mentioned is an anime style it looks beautifully like cell shaded or like watercolor it's so crisp and colorful and yes this is going to have a pc version which means this is going to run super smooth here we have another screenshot of what appears to be the beginning of a castle war okay and this looks really interesting a couple of things that we can infer here is that there is a potentially a circle formation which we didn't see in the previous video and we also have different colors on the outside of the wall versus the units on the inside of the wall okay so we have a lot of red units here and then we have purple and blue on the outside of these walls so it's possible that maybe multiple alliances are actually raiding this city that is being defended by the players in red over here we also see a cannon tower off in the back so i wonder how that's going to play out in castle war gameplay but either way the strategy here looks super in depth and and i mean when you're comparing the graphical style of this game to other games that we are familiar with on the channel it just looks so good man this this graphical style looks like it can age really well but it also is really detailed and honestly gorgeous we also can see here that there is some sort of grid formation on the ground here you can see um that there is you know a, obviously a little moat here around the castle but you can see the these grid lines so i wonder how that's going to work from a strategic perspective here we have some actual footage of fighting here in a castle war and i'm just going to pause it for a second to point out a couple of details up in the top it looks like you have what are probably player cities uh, i notice a bunch of different skins on these cities so there's going to be a lot of different customization that you can do here in the game which i think is great and honestly this purple city right here looks very like creepy halloween which i'm super excited about i think that looks incredible and also you could see by this video the scale of these castle wars i mean the the, the gates here and the actual castle itself are massive out in the world compared to the size of the actual player cities there appears to be some sort of like 
dark energy or or darkness that has descended upon this actual castle perhaps we are capturing this uh castle for the first time from the darkness there's a ton of pvp combat in this game as you can tell already but there is a bunch of pve content as well that will explain what we're doing why we're here why we're in the world and i think this video gives a really good showcase as to some more of the pve content in the game this i mean this enemy right here he's got all black armor looks absolutely incredible by the way black and red armor is obvious it's obviously the bad guy right that's the bad guy okay now as players we are in the world of Skyna and we are trying to defend and save the world from the chaos that has befallen it and clearly this creature this monster this absolute unit right here uh, is part of that chaos and of course if we just pause here we have obviously five different armies taking on this one enemy and this is pve content so this looks like it's some sort of open world sort of raid battle which i think looks amazing and it looks really well done right it, i mean this just looks so well done it looks like this is actual gameplay footage obviously there's no ui around it but this isn't some sort of like cinematic or anything like that this is this is actually what the game looks like and that's exciting for me so this is just a little peek inside what appears to be an actual player city now you can see here if we just pause there's obviously a ton of civilians actually walking around the city which is nice it makes the game feel like it's actually alive like there's actually people there okay but also you'll notice that like the building in the back here is completely cracked destroyed over here we see this hospital looks like it's actually on fire still people are just walking around ignoring that if I move my head over here you can see this building is also a little bit destroyed as well so clearly as players it's going to be our job to rebuild the city to what I assume to be its former glory now here's a short little clip of what appears to be some archer training this is the archer training building over here and if I move my head once again you can see over here that there are cavalry patiently waiting off in the corner as well so so a couple of things we can learn from this clip okay obviously there are different troop types in the game which is what you would expect we have the archers the cavalry the infantry and also combat engineers which are what I assume to be like the siege units that we saw in the open field fights but there's also the Titans we saw there's also the heroes that lead the units and then there's some special units which we're going to talk about here in just a minute but the other thing that we see from this footage here is that in the top left corner there is what appears to be a little upgrade icon so of course we're going to be upgrading our city that is one of the prerequisites of a city builder game but also these stairs and these buildings are no longer destroyed okay so my assumption is that there is some chaos that descends on in the world this story is going to take us through rebuilding our city and eventually we will have a, a bustling and prosperous city like we see here and honestly the game just looks happy it just looks beautiful i mean look above my head right here this looks like some sort of like mushroom hut mushroom building a little a couple little duckies over here just chilling in the pond okay we have a flower stand a fruit stand i mean the game just honestly looks gorgeous like it looks beautiful and relaxing but the war gameplay that we've seen and some more that i'll show you in this video just it's like the best of both worlds you could play the game to just relax and chill but you could also play the game to wage war and being able to do both of those things is crucial for games like this and honestly i can't wait we haven't had such a beautiful looking game of this art style in this genre this game could actually be the best city builder to ever come out on mobile i'm not kidding i have felt that way since i first played the open beta uh, like nine months ago and I'm just I'm just so excited that it's finally almost here okay now here's a cool clip that I want to share with you guys okay we obviously have some UI here which we haven't seen so far in the video so we have food wood I assume this is either stone or ore I believe that this is stone and then we have gold and what are I assume gems diamonds something of that nature whoever this player is is probably balling out of absolute control okay we have some what appear to be skills down here as well as the mail button but um if I move my head in just a second you'll see the point of this clip but here you can see 19 kilometers away this is probably where the player's city is okay here we could see that they tap on the skill here there's an animation and then their army teleports they teleport their army not their city their city is still 19 kilometers away so they teleport their army to in front of what i assume are the enemies okay this might be like the open field pve content this could potentially be another player although this looks like some sort of orc or barbarian type of thing out in the world but i think the point of this clip is just to show you that you don't actually have to teleport your entire city across the map you can move around specific armies and that is 
huge from a gameplay perspective can't wait to see how players use that from a strategic perspective that's going to be super interesting now of course we need to learn a little bit more about these things right it could be the case that this is just a skill of that specific hero okay it might not be the case that you can move every army and teleport it around but it could just be this specific hero has this skill that allows them to do that teleportation but here in this clip you could see that there's actually a second skill some boots with wings on it and you could see that the player activates this skill there is another little animation here now this is a different animation than the previous one so it could be the case that both of these heroes have the teleportation ability no idea there, just speculation but here you could see that the march speed for that unit apparently increases quite dramatically and I wonder if there's other effects that might actually take place as a result of this skill being activated now we could see a couple of other things here this is what appears to be a level 24 enemy out in the open world okay uh, that is probably the PVE content or player versus environment we we have a level five what appears to be like a mine okay so probably some mining open world gathering going on here there is probably a little farm or some place where you can get food we have what appears to be a wooden mill here so you can get wood out in the world there is also some sort of castle or it looks like an enemy fortress that perhaps you'll have to take down with your alliance members as well and then up top here you could see just a little bit of artistic design that they've used for the open world we have like these giant spiked vines coming out of the ground and I love it I, I think again I can't say this enough the art style of this game looks incredible here we can take a look at the cavalry training building okay so we got the little nice little anime okay and who's this dude right here this is so cute bro this is like a, this dude's wearing like a little little he got like a little bear helmet on man that's oh my god this game is like cute beautiful but also badass like I'm super stoked okay now they did send me a couple of clips of different designs for your city so this looks way different than the city we were just looking at which implies that you're going to be able to customize your city like crazy in this game so if that's something that you like that's exciting that's that's something that I enjoy and I feel like that's really lacking from a lot of these city builder games a lot of times there's no incentive to actually uh, make your city look a specific way or there's no way to even do that right you're kind of just stuck with either you know a castle skin and then the generic buildings right this looks way different than anything we've seen before and this appears to be that same purple castle that I showed you earlier on a, a different clip but this looks some like some sort of haunted Halloween style just flooded with purple trees purple water we have like these haunted bat looking tombstone things everything here just looks like it's a Halloween theme we have this little horse pulled carriage the lamps here along the road have like this ghostly glow to them which looks super cool the design of the city looks incredible and I presume this is what it started as so the change here is drastic it's dramatic and the progress from one to the other is going to be a big part of the game just developing up your city and making it look incredible here we can take a look at this sort of ice design okay this looks like it is a viking themed boat okay this is a like from norse mythology here we've got some rainbows here everything is covered in ice the trees are covered in ice we have these icicles coming out of the ground here this looks more like a winter wonderland winter holiday themed type of city which looks amazing and the complete opposite of that is this fire city everything is just on fire this looks super super cool okay we've got like these ruby gemstone rocks just all over the place these are like gargoyles it looks like just looking menacing over here okay and what's this dude down here doing what's he doing he's just waving his arms back and forth that's cool and then it looks like there's magma actually instead of water or maybe it's lava I don't know I don't know the difference sorry this looks like a like Bowser's castle or something like that it looks really cool this is awesome this is a city covered in mushrooms this is like a mushroom kingdom the fact that all these different cities have the same function and they're all part of the same game and yet they all all look beautiful and unique in their own way amazing it looks amazing guys it actually looks amazing obviously all the buildings have the little mushroom roofs we have like this this like tree ogre looking dude right here just chilling I love the variety here also look at this little little bear right here with the glasses bro it's so cute man okay all right enough of the beautiful cute little decorating stuff this is some war this is some open field war and one thing I just want to pause real quick okay in the middle here is what I assume to be a Titan okay 
and from what I can tell the Titans are going to play a pretty big role here in Grand Cross Age of Titans because they're literally in the name it's the Age of Titans and this dude is way bigger than the other armies in the battlefield and he obviously is popping off his own skills and these Titans are special massive units that are gonna have to be actually summoned by players now I don't know if this will be summoned by your Alliance similar to like call of dragons for example where you have the behemoths it could be the same sort of thing here where the Alliance has to summon the Titan itself to go to war on your behalf or it's possible that this could actually be a unit of a player so similar to games like Infinity Kingdom where you have like dragons that you can bring to battle right you have a dragon for every army perhaps you have a Titan that you can use for every army and maybe you can only summon them in certain circumstances these are things that I don't know right now they're unclear to me but I'm just speculating with you guys but it's clear to see like this dude's got four arms he's popping off like these massive skills with like these giant crystals that come out of his like wand here like that, that the Titans are going to be super powerful and they're going to have the ability to absolutely destroy the enemy formations so there's going to be a lot of strategy that is revolving around these special units and how you use them on the battlefield here we have a look at another Titan this dude looks like and bro this looks like a transformer it's so sick bro so he's obviously massive he looks like a mech he's got a bunch of armor like this massive suit of armor he's got this huge mace and a shield on his other arm and he is just popping off okay he's popping off uh, it basically if you go up against this dude like you could see the ground just smashes when he attacks it here is a look at yet another Titan this one looks like an Archer Titan okay this another sort of transformer looking mech this looks like a Gundam bro it looks so cool but he's got like this massive bow and arrow that you could see he pulls back in order to deal damage and I wonder if that is like an AoE attack or if he's just attacking maybe this specific army right here is what it looks like to me but either way all these armies ain't taking him down that's for sure now here we have a little bit of a different view of a new Titan this dude looks like a tank okay this looks like an actual Giga Chad right here this is a side profile view his actual arms look like castle walls basically okay uh, so this dude looks like he's going to be some sort of massive tanky unit uh, perhaps you want to use this Titan if you are defending a structure it could be the case that the red Alliance here is actually defending against the blue Alliance although this Titan looks blue perhaps he's on the attacking side it's really hard to say from this angle but he does look super big super intimidating formidable and I can't wait to see how the Titans play in this game so here we have a better look at one of the Titans here I don't think we saw this one in battle but this is just some animations of him out in the world he again looks like a really sick like Gundam Transformer type of thing uh, he's got this massive sword I'm a simple man give me a massive sword and things to smash and I'm happy like that's what I want out of these games okay so having this dude on the battlefield with me is going to be amazing now there is actually ways that you can deal range damage in this game now I don't think that you can deal range damage with every troop type but there are special units that can do ranged attacks so here we could see a few things that are doing range damage first of all we have the combat engineers what I assume are like a siege unit right here uh, and then we also have a special type of unit which are called air units okay so right here we have air units that are their little cannons attached to balloons and you can see here that they are fighting across this river so this river is going to be part of the terrain that you can't cross with all unit types some unit types will either have to fly over perhaps you'll be able to attack over them but this is going to be a big part of the strategy in the game and having the ability to attack over these things is going to be super cool now we can see here from the footage that uh, these are archer units so perhaps there are some special types of archers that can do range damage uh but everything here is attacking over the river okay so there is uh, heroes in the back here uh, and in the front as well that are dealing uh, i guess what are, it's probably magic damage or just shooting their spells across the river yeah this is just going to add some depth to the strategy that i think is really awesome and that dude check this dude out over here okay watch his watch his skill he gets bigger okay with his axe and then he jumps over the river he jumps over the river and just has this massive explosion on the other side and then I think he flips back to his arm yeah he goes back to his army but Matt that, that was super I was not expecting that that's awesome now of course rivers aren't going to be the only terrain that you're going to be able to fight over okay here we can see a castle wall that we are fighting over all right we have 
the archer units we have the uh, catapults as well as the flying units all dealing damage over this wall okay so this is going to be important obviously both for attackers and defenders for dealing damage if you are trying to take a castle in a castle war event now here we can actually see the advantage of bringing um some some ranged units right because here we have what appears to be a mountain pass and the enemy here looks like they're trying to break through the pass but they're just getting bombarded by all the things on the other side of that pass right we have all these catapults we have these ranged units here this dude is flying around with his swords bro uh and, and he's just popping off right so they're taking massive damage on this side of the pass uh, because they they i mean i guess they have maybe some range units but i do see a lot of cavalry over here right so that's going to be again a, a huge part of the strategy okay so let's take a look at the special bomber unit okay we've seen this obviously throughout some of these clips but here you could see a lot of these bombers are spawning in they're flying right over the wall okay now you can tell uh, that these are two different alliances right these are all color coded red everything within the walls is color coded blue so you know that these are these are enemies and look they're just flying in you see the ghost Ghosts coming up so you he, they get all the kills okay they're getting all the kills obviously these dudes are trying to build these walls it looks like they're still under construction and as the attacker you can send in these bomber units that just fly over the walls and deal the damage now of course these enemies are trying to build the wall here within within the wall the blue units they probably should have had some sort of like siege units or their own bombers or something like that so so if you use the right strategy and the enemy is not expecting it they're gonna get destroyed but it looks like there are ways to combat this right so it's not like a super overpowered thing so here's some more footage of the bombers and you can see here that they are being attacked by the ranged archers down here so there is obviously a way to counter this now while the bombers look like they have ranged attacks and can fly over rivers and they can fly over city walls walls there are also plane units yes literal planes as you can see above my head they are like these massive zeppelin ship type of things they're like these floating balloons with propell propellers and they can fly over mountain ranges okay so these can fly even higher than the bombers that we saw before and obviously you'll notice that there are enemies stationed on the other side of this mountain here uh, what we're going to find is that these planes actually drop your units on the battlefield okay now i don't know if there's going to be an actual animation or something when the game fully comes out but here you can see that the planes literally turn into a massive amounts of units so it's my assumption that these planes probably will hold a certain amount like a certain troop capacity and then you can fly them into a certain area drop your units down and we've never seen something like this i i've never seen this in any sort of city builder with open field fighting obviously we've seen flying units in other games we've seen ranged units in other games we've never seen the ability to fly melee units over a mountain and drop them in like they're parachuting down in world war ii bro it looks so good and this is absolutely going to be a massive part of the open field strategy right because these guys they were probably afk they didn't expect it and now they are literally surrounded by melee units ranged units you can see the cavalry the infantry there's just that now they're at war basically they thought they were safe with the mountain and now they're at war and just to show you guys some more open field footage okay this is obviously the enemy is teleporting in their units like we showed before i don't know if that's again a hero skill or something but this is just an open field brawl right uh and this is more or less what these open field fights are going to look like the fact that we have open field movement the fact that the graphics look incredible and we have so many new mechanics that we've never seen in other open field fights before i think this is going to be super super interesting now if you remember at the beginning of that clip you'll notice that there was actually more uh, blue armies than there were red armies right so it looked like blue had a massive advantage here and again because the red armies teleported in there's just going to be a, a ton of different strategy that you can implement here but also we have a closer look at some more what i assume are pve units these look like bandits or like mercenaries or something like that so there's just there's a massive variety of units here as well which looks awesome here we have another clip of some open field fighting obviously the red alliance is getting surrounded and swarmed down by the uh, blue alliance here which guys the, the game just looks so good man i'm just getting excited going over all these clips and learning more about how the game has evolved and changed over the last nine months since i first got my hands on it but you can see the design in the open world is you know there's like these little hills and trees and it just looks it looks beautiful man here is another clip of a uh, skill being used it looks like an absolutely massive meteor shower that you can just drop down circular aoe and just nuke everything on the battlefield which looks i mean this is what you want in open field fights right like this is the sort of fidelity and this is the sort of options that you want to have at your disposal when you are waging war it looks good man 
it looks good and this looks like a look a rectangular aoe right here let's see what happens here is this going to be like a skill shot or yeah it looks like that's some sort of skill shot that shoots out also what are these little like these little like berry looking creatures man that's so cute we got these little these little mushrooms up here too bro this game has it's like i know like i'm gonna sound biased right because this video is sponsored but like this game literally looks like it has something for everybody i'm so excited guys honestly I uh I probably would be playing this game even without a sponsor so the fact that I am being sponsored for this is I'm I'm so lucky and so incredibly grateful for that here you can see obviously there is a skill being cast by the uh the allies over here and they just shoot this flaming horse at them so this is obviously a cavalry based hero and I think that's going to be really crucial obviously like with other city builder games when you're building your armies you want to have your heroes match the troop type so you get the most amount of synergy and damage and of course on this channel here we're going to be covering a ton more of grand cross age of titans so if the game looks and sounds interesting to you then you definitely want to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next time that we jump into this game for real today i've just been getting hype for everything that we're seeing here and i just i'm super stoked to actually get my hands on the next open beta test now a couple of important things server versus server is confirmed for this game so think about kvk okay Okay, that is already confirmed and it appears to work in a similar way as rise of kingdoms where two or more different servers are going to be teleported to a specific map i'm super excited for that i think rise of kingdoms does it the best so the fact that this is going to be essentially functioning in the same way in a beautiful looking game like this i'm stoked also the home world or home server is going to have what we've referred to in this video already is castle wars okay so occupying the center castle at the middle of the server is what's going to give you rule over the kingdom so i'm sure you're familiar with gameplay like that and guys i'm excited to announce that the open beta test is actually already live the open beta test is available in multiple different countries and multiple languages are available as well in order to participate today you can click the link in the description below the open beta is available for android users with the google play store or also available on pc and if you don't have an android device you can always use an emulator on your computer as well by the time you're watching this i'm already playing the open beta I've been waiting for this for months I've been excited about this and I hope to see you guys there and progress in the open beta carries to the official launch so start early get a head start on everybody this is literally your chance to just get an advantage on all the players that aren't aware that the open beta is going to happen because you're going to be able to start with the launch of the game and have all of your progress from the open beta as well and of course joining the open beta with my link down below helps support the channel for free which is why I'm so grateful for generous sponsors like Netmarble and Grand Cross Age of Titans with that being said guys if you enjoy the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other players might see as I mentioned before if you want up-to-date information about Grand Cross Age of Titans and guides and content about the game when it first drops you definitely want to subscribe and click the bell to be notified the next time I upload a video comment down below your thoughts on this game what do you think are you as excited as I am because I'm genuinely super stoked I think the game looks incredible it looks crisp it looks clean and it looks like it plays super buttery smooth and that's like the three most important things about city builders and this seems to be hitting the nail right on the head on all three of them with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace